Hello, today I'm going to talk about the new Radeon mounting adapters from Ecotech. Hello and welcome back to uh, Amrazul TV, a super quick video for you. So uh, if you have uh, been watching my channel, you would have uh, seen that I upgraded my lights from the Gen 4 Radeons XR15s uh, to the new Gen 5 Radeon uh, uh, XR15s. I think I did that switch around September and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, the Gen 5 lights. Uh, I, I'm seeing colors on my SPS uh, that I haven't really like seen before and I love how uh, awesome the coverage is. Uh, so when I upgraded, uh, I simply just upgraded the lights. I had the uh, RMS uh, mounting arms, and in theory, the old mounting arms are compatible with the new, uh, um, with the new Gen 5s, right? So the Gen 5 has a fan on the top, and with the uh, old mounting arms, there is you know a little bit of space for, uh, for the fan to kind of uh, uh, deal with uh, the heat exchange uh, and so you know I, I've been running the gen 5s with the old XR15 for um, uh, Sorry with the new XR15s for I think a five month now. Uh, I've been happy uh, I am noticing that the fans are kind of uh, they seem to be on all the time and uh, They are a little bit noisy uh, and you can see that there isn't really that much room between the arm and, uh, and the fan. Uh, so one of uh, my uh, subscribers actually alerted me to these uh, new adapters that Ecotech makes where you could just replace the uh, top part. So as you can see on the left here, uh, you're able to get this new bracket th that effectively gives you uh, more distance between the fan and the arm. Uh, and in theory, this is supposed to kind of help with, uh, with the uh, heat exchange. Uh, and it also raises the light up a little bit and we, you know with any point source light you know the, the further away it is from the tank the, the more spread the, the part in the light is uh, so I think you know it's, it's a very subtle difference maybe like uh, maybe half an inch uh, higher uh, but uh, I think overall that uh, that's a positive uh, uh, kind of design feature to raise the lights out a little bit. Uh, so I went and and I actually replaced all three uh, of my old uh, uh, RMS arms. Uh, you're not actually replacing the arm, you're just replacing the X bracket. Uh, the process is really simple. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to remove the top part of the RMS bracket from the bottom part. And so all you need to do is just uh, use like an Allen wrench to uh, uh, to accomplish this. Uh, very easy. It just uh, slides out. I'm a big fan of the RMS arms. They are uh, <laughs> they're they're really robust and uh, they're sleek and they're very kind of easy to uh, uh, to take apart if you want to clean them and, and clean the light. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to remove the X bracket from the actual light, and that's accomplished by removing these uh, four screws. Uh, everything uh, takes a little bit uh, longer to do when you're when you have a camera in your hand so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm usually a little bit faster than this uh, but yeah uh, uh, fairly simple you just remove these uh, four screws and then the top part of the RMS arm and the X bracket are now separated from the light you could see that there was a bit of uh, buildup of dust, uh, and again, I, I promise you, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that clumsy in, in real life. It's just, it's, it's really hard to uh, film and and vacuum at the same time. Uh, but I, I just gave the new Gen 5 light a little bit of a, a vacuum with the Dyson just to remove any of the dirt, uh, and uh, uh, get, make sure that we we have a nice kind of clean installation of the new uh, adapters. And once that's done, uh, the next step was to remove the X bracket from the top part of the RMS arm. And, and the X bracket is held to the RMS arm using two screws that you could easily remove with a Phillips uh, screwdriver. And once these two screws are out, you could simply just uh, slide uh, the X adapter uh, out of the channel and then you're uh, all set to uh, put the new adapters for the Gen 5 lights. And so uh, this comes as a kit. Uh, I believe, uh, I think it's maybe 10 to $15. Uh, I think it was $15 uh, Canadian. Uh, and so it does come with this uh, new uh, mount that you slide on a channel and it comes with an end cap and it also comes with uh, two new screws uh, that you're gonna secure, you're gonna use to secure the end cap to uh, the RMS channel. 
so the adapter uh, uh, for mounting the lights simply has like these little uh, uh, channels and uh, grooves that actually fit uh, in the channel of the RMS arm they just slide right in uh, easy peasy and then you push this uh, a little bit out of the way so you could install the end cap which also just uh, slides into the RMS arm uh, you can see here bam and then you turn it over then you're ready to install the two screws to secure the end cap in place again you use a, a regular uh, small Phillips screwdriver uh, and once that's done uh, I, I guess it's it's up to you uh, how far you want the lights up uh, for me I, I moved the, the plastic adapters kind of all the way uh, to the end of the cap just to um, make for a, a sleeker look I, I, I don't want to kind of see this uh, arm sticking out past the light when my final installation and uh, once you've uh, accomplished this uh, the next step is to apply uh, the four screws that are going to secure the, um, the new mounting adapter and the RMS arm to the light. Uh, uh, you could reuse, uh, reuse the same screws that uh, you've purchased, uh, sorry, that, you, that came with your, uh, uh, with your RMS arm. And once that's done, uh, then in theory you, are, you should be ready to uh, install the light back um, uh, on, on, on top of the tank. Uh, so uh, I'm just uh, finishing the four screws here. Again, it, it's always tricky to uh, <laughs> it's always tricky to work with the right hand and film with the left hand. Uh, and then once I'm done, I, I'm able to just uh, slide the top portion of the RMS arm uh, back into uh, uh, the upright portion and uh, tighten uh, with an Allen screw. And then, uh, uh, as we like to say, uh, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> And then once uh, that's done, uh, you're, you're good to go. Uh, I, uh, I've had this set up now uh, for about, I think, a week. Uh, and uh, I, I didn't have a, a decibel meter or anything, but I am noticing that the lights are not as loud. Uh, my guess is that uh, the extra spaces just allows for uh, the fans to be more efficient. They don't have to run as high uh, and uh, they don't have to be as noisy. So a uh, really good upgrade uh, if, uh, if you already have RMS arms and you're thinking about the Gen 5 lights, uh, you can just buy this kit and your RMS arms will be uh, forward compatible with your XR15s. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, thanks to the subscriber who alerted me to this uh, new uh, adapter. And also uh, big thanks to Ecotech obviously for, for uh, thinking about uh, the users of the old lights and, and developing this kit so we don't have to go out and purchase an entire new RMS mount for the Gen 5s. All right, that's it everyone. Thanks so much and see you later. Have a good one.